Hello and welcome to the 32nd episode. I'm your host Jimster Gaming and I'm playing in Open T3 on a huge Europe map. So last time we uh, did some building in Scotland and now that we can see what it looks like I have added trains uh, from Glasgow and from Fort William and from Wick uh, to get to Aberdeen uh, to the paper mill and also from Carlisle. Uh, so that means we have now connected all the forests in the northern half of England. I'm not sure if there are any more. Not many anyway. Is there something over in Wales? No, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, that was maybe the only far only forests in Great Britain. <laughs> anyway, um, so that has been fixed. And I put two trains on each line, except the Carlisle one where I put three, uh, because it's a longer line and it is producing 170, which means it will, um, at uh, Gung Hu, um, produce three times that for transportation purposes, uh, which is more than 500. And the trains take 600 each. Um, and since all the uh, forests have different uh, uh, production speed, it, it should be uh, spaced out also in Aberdeen. So that's good. Um, I also put in the farm supplies. So uh, I have been playing around a little bit in Fort William because my first plan was to put in a, a station over here so I could ship the stuff in and pick it up um, by truck and get it through this way, through a tunnel here somewhere. Um, and over here, but it get, got very complicated, so I decided to do it by train instead. So I have put a train on here. That will take the enormous journey from here, up here where it has a small turnaround, which is really dangerous, but in this case I think it's okay. Which reminds me that I need to do this. Um, and I need to move the signal as well, like that. Anyway, it's only one supply train that will use this one, so it's fine, I think. Um, and I put this one, um, I have timetabled this one in the sense that it will wait 45 days when it comes back. It could probably wait 60, but I've decided to do 45 for now. Uh, we also have a ship, um, this one, um, that is down in Belfast because it gets its supplies from Belfast. Um, so I've just built a, a connection up and up through the Firth. I don't know what this one is called actually. Firth of Fort William. Um, So that's that, and then I have the other three in uh, Glasgow is here. So the other three are all in Glasgow. Um, this one is going to Wickwoods. This one is going to uh, Glasgow Transfer, which I believe is this one up here, right? Um, and this one also have a timetabling, so it comes back and wait 45 days. And the last one is the one going to Carlisle, which doesn't have a timetabling, of course, because it's quite far. I might look into it later on, see how long time it takes, but we'll see. So I decided to take it this way. I'm not sure if that was a great idea. So it goes through Edinburgh um, and south and then back this way. Um, I could have sent it as well this way through Motherwell. Um, it is a little bit shorter, but then it ends up in this mess here with the, the uh, steel trains. So it might be better to leave it as it is, I'm not sure. Um, the third alternative was to actually build this line because there will be a line going down to Strand Rear um, and also out to uh, here. 
um, that will then connect in Carlisle and then I need would need to have a turnaround in Carlisle and a turnaround over there to get it into that one so I'm not sure that's a good idea either alternatively bring it into the uh, lumber yard and uh, move it by truck from there but that doesn't seem like a great idea either so for now it's just the way it is <laughs> um, so the plan for today is to continue building in Scotland so what we have left in Scotland is some sheep farms and we have some arable farms um, because we need to get some distilleries going. So that will be the plan of this day. So first out is the fruit. And that one is coming from Penzance. Um, and this is the Isle, Isles of Skilly, I guess. Or Shilly? Skilly? Um, I wonder what that is. Oh, that's a ship. That's weird. Um, great. So I'm going to build a ship down here. Um, this one do 50 something? 54. Okay. So, um, fruit. So we have a few to choose between. So the, um, the Meteor takes 100 with a good speed. Uh, the little Cumbria takes 140 but with much less speed. So I think the Meteor actually transports more in a lifetime. Then we have the Marsteins doing 270 which makes absolutely no sense because we can never get that high. Um, we will just get over 150 a month. So I think I'll actually go with these slower ones for once, just to do something different. So this will be a fruit chip. Load fruits. Uh, start in Pensan's docks. And let's just head north through the Irish Sea. Be a lot of ships going through the Irish Sea. Which is good because then we have something to look at on Sundays. And it is very soon Sunday. Again. Sunday again. So I do you know that this is one of the most fascinating things to look at? Someone clicking waypoints. Um, and in to Fort William, where they will use the fruit for some whiskey thing. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but whatever. Fruity whiskey. They call it sherry casks, but it's actually sherries, maybe? So, soon back, and I'm going to use the same depot that we uh, bought this one in. Um, reason being that it feels like a good thing to do and not waste too many of those just because we can. So I'll let it pass there and get over there like that. And we are in this case, actually I'm going to do this for once. Just 
just to make some order in the chaos. So let's just bring this one over there. Done. And because I'm going to make a bunch of these. 12, 10, I think. Or 8. Let's make it 8. For now. So 8 of those. And let them go. Good. That was the fruit fixed. Um, and uh, the fruit farm is going to get its supplies from Birmingham and since I'm not keen on using the turnaround I'm actually going to finish off this line um, that has been in the doing for a while a very long while actually um, and I'm going to bring it towards Barnstable So first of all, we need to get rid of these things. And we're going to do it a single track because there will only be one train there anyway. Um, so I will continue with that. So I have slowly started to build here. Um, I have put in I have put in the uh, um, bus stations and the um, docks. I'm not sure if we'll use those but uh, at least we'll have some. And I need to put in a Canadian platform in the road there and that means station there, and that means we need to shave this one off, which we could do without too much hustle. The road is coming up there, so it needs to be there. Eight. Got very spread out, but whatever. Um, so we need to get the uh, stockyard as well, but um, I'm going to do it this way. I'm not sure if there is anything coming from this side to the stockyard. I don't think there is. Um, I might need to get things up though um, <laughs> from a dock somewhere. We'll see. Uh, so I will just do this then. So this one will get up here and the stockyard station will be here. Um, however, this is going to continue on a seaside journey. That did not turn out well. There, maybe? Yeah. Through a little tunnel. And continue down there. Lift a little bit the land. Uh, I will actually lift this one as well, so I can build the double track later on, so that will be needed, I assume. Um, and then we'll continue in that direction. And my guess is that we are going to connect to Penzance uh, here, actually. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's good. So we'll connect here. Uh, 
and this construction also means that we can put on a turnaround if needed. Um, not great, but it will work at least. That's the important thing. So we can put a turnaround if, in case we will get um, livestock uh, from there. So we'll bring it through here. Uh, 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 so that one can connect and this one. I'm not sure if this one will. I think this one will probably be transported by sea, but still. Oh, and because we have this here, we can actually ex oops, duh, that was not the plan. Again, if you want to raise land, click raise land. If you want to lower land, click on lower land. That makes it much easier. Oh, I have the outside one. Yes, sorry. So that means we'll continue with the outside one then. Whatever. Um, so bring it there and where there shouldn't be holes and bring it up there and I'm going to fill this one in just so I can easily build the double track later on good um, and we have a connection good so Barnstable is now connected, which is great. Um, next thing to do... Um, and the telephone is saying things again. This one will either be connected on this or that side. I haven't decided. That depends. I don't know where they are going. So um, This one, though going to scoot off this way immediately. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to fix a little bit on the other side. Uh, and that was the wrong place, but anyway. Uh, because we need to get a tunnel through there. And again we are on that side, yeah. Okay, good. Um, here I will need to raise land all the way there to enable a double track and then continue here I'm not sure if it's possible to hear but it's raining really much right now the window is open um, let's follow the side here I thought there will be more tunnels, but uh, well, whatever. Oh, we have one here. It's a perfect place for a small tunnel. Then just follow the coast line. Because that means we can do another tunnel. This is one of these holes that you can fill, which is great. Um, and continue here. That means we need to get over this one. Da. Okay. Um, so do that. Bring this one here. Bring the road through there. Now this might seem like a weird 
solution, but uh, I'm sure it's great. In the long run, um, let's get that one over there. Let's get let's get these moving. Oh, it's overtaking. Um, connect that one and disconnect this one. There. Great. Do that just to get one extra and bring it up there and over on that side. Great. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven between. That's very, very, very short. Not sure if we want to keep that, but I, if I remember correct, the rule is six, so should be okay. Um, right now, there's only one train on this line, so we don't need to do any signaling or passing loops. There is just one at the start, and there should be one here as well. Yeah. Good stuff. So. Uh, Don't remember, we have two there. Ah, we can take one more, doesn't matter. And one extra. Farm supplies. Get in there, and there, and full load. And it's a rather long trip. I could actually have brought it out to Wales brought it down that way, but whatever. Or here and brought by ship down there, but whatever. Now we're done this way, so we'll keep with that. Stick with that. Bristol waypoint. And we need a waypoint over here somewhere as well. So let's just put it in there. Don't get lost on the way, and I think that will be enough to get down here and transfer and back to Cardiff Waypoint and Wrist Waypoint and all the way to the depot. Look at that done. Dish. It's funny, all of them got turned grey this time. That's also a way to do it. Um, yes. And when we are here, we need to put in a ship. So I'm going to buy a ship. Um, farm supplies. So I will just put in one of these small ones, 65 by refit. It will not full load. Um, it will just go back and forth because it doesn't really make any sense to do anything advanced with it. So I'm going to bring it out there and then just over to Pensant Stocks and then back to the depot. It can just go back and forth, it doesn't matter. Uh, because there is no ship taking 56, um, so I'm using this one that's take 65. So done. Good. So that means we have fixed the farm supplies for Pinsans. And moving forward, moving on to Aberdeen. So we have a nice little farm here in Aberdeen. And that one will now be connected. So let's do that and that. And that really don't need to do it in that direction, but whatever. So I don't think there's anything else in here to connect it from that one now. Um, and the same as before, we'll just bring it up to nine. And then leave it as that. 
bring it up here. So I'm actually going to move this hill a little bit. Do that. Um, because we are going to need to have a one, two, three platform thing there. Um, let's find fixtures. And I'm actually not going to bother with anything else this time, so we'll just do that. Easiest way. That was perfect. Perfect fit. Um, put in one of those. So this time we are going to make a combined one because this one produces 72 tons of grain and 72 tons of sugar beet. So by bringing both of them over to Fort William on the same train, it means that we can reduce the number of trains a little bit. Um, so I'm first going to say grain. So these takes 40 and these takes 55, okay? And sugar beets, we have same ones, okay? Good. What did we say? 72, and we are going to do three times that, so that's 210. So that means if we bring four of each, should be good. Um, then we need to find a ship that can do that, which we will not, so therefore we'll have, we can do 270. Uh, that is just going to be a terribly long train. 1, 2, 3, 4. No, we can't do that. Can we? Like that. Stone, that was not right. Oh. Sugar beets. That was a different story. Okay, so we'll have to do. Can we do 270 somehow? Uh, uh, uh. So 50, that's 220. We can't do 220. Uh, we can do 240. Plus that one. It's just way too long of a train. So, no, that wasn't possible. So, let's bring that one there. So, this one will get, I think, 270 rates. Let me see. Wrong one. Total cargo, 270. Perfect. Let's make sure that we have sugar beets. Like that. Um, okay, so it didn't work as planned because the trains will just be too long. Otherwise, it had been a good idea. Aberdeen sugar beet. And let's bring this one over to Fort William, which ain't great because this means we now have three lines with a turnaround. Inverness, that's not great to be honest. Um, we also need to put in one of these as an in point Fort William. Uh, Fort William in. And 
let's do that and into the station and transfer and get cracking the other way again turn around and get over to the depot I do 450 on that one is the question. 270, how many more do I need? Um, 180. So that's four more. Plus a little bit of playing around. Actually, I could then do these. Nine of those. Does that make sense? That means I can. I don't need to go very often. That does make sense. Okay. Whatever. So let's just do that. Let's redo this again then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you hold control, you move all of them. It's only 5.2 long. Not bad, but heavy. Um, so we are done with that. And just make sure that we get sugar beets and not something else. And that should be great. Clone that one and send them packing. Oh, not this one. Shite. Ah. So... This one needs to be stopped. I'm going to bin these <laughs> just so we don't make an issue with them. Good. Um, sort that out and put in this and that. This and that. Okay, good. So, um, grain. So we're doing 210 a month ish. Um, at full production so that is what I need to get at because in this case there is no other supply so there's only one farm and one fruit so let's put grain on and I will take four of those one two three four make sure it says grain and into the grain, full load, um, get over there, turn around and um, out of Fort William in. Not that it's important with this train because it's not that long, but anyway, and turn around and depot. Good, and I'm going to clone this one as well. Probably need three on at the moment. Two, good. Done. Next thing to fix um, is in Fort William. So I need to put in a ship depot and let's put it down here. Um, so I'm going to put on a ship that can do 200, 450 it was, sugar beet, bloody phone, and let's see, there we have one, da -dum, da -dum. sugar beet, And get moving up the first full load. and get click cramp after a while especially when you do this 
That was one of the big issues when fly, playing um, Transport Tycoon, was that you couldn't duplicate orders. So you were just stuck with continuing. <laughs> so if you wanted five trains on the same line, you had to do everything all over again five times. Um, so I'm going to bring this one there, just so it don't get stuck somewhere. Um, bring it into Dundalk, where I will transfer. And then get back again to the depot. Um, Fast Campbelltown and Depot is up there, yeah. Through the straits and to Depot. Great, done. And again, let's clone this one so we have four on. Perfect. And then we take the third leg of the same sugar beets. So that means it's going to be picked up here. So let's put on this one here. Again, need to have 450. So let's do that and put on a should be transport and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which will be 450. Great stuff. And transform this one to sugar beads. And I don't think we need more than one because they will come like every second month um, and it's not that far to Carlo so I just need to do that oh I hope it doesn't pass six nights 5.2 that's great um, pass there and into Carlo Portland and pass the, pass this one and get into the depot and in the meantime we will also put in double track piece here um, now that we have an extra train on because otherwise it's just going to be a nightmare to get this to work um, it doesn't need long one two three four five six seven and do that and put in that one there and that one there one two three four five six Perfect, um, because that means the junction doesn't clog already when stuff starts happening there. So don't need more than one on that. Good. Uh, perfect. So that was that. Um, crane and sugar beets fixed. Off camera, I'm going to supply the Aberdeen farm with farm supplies from um, Glasgow. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.